been inside the kid's house before, so I'm gonna go in there. There's a side quest in here? Did you need something? No, not really. As you say. Why aren't you training with two swords? This is how I've always trained. 10,000 practice wins a day since I was a kid. I just wanted a single good swipe at Shigure. So I swung and swung, and eventually just naturally got to this point. That's incredible. Not really. I need to be prepared to face Shigure at any moment. But I've been thinking I should up it to 100,000 swings. 100,000? Do you have any idea how much time that'll take? No. Nah. Even if you did one swing a second, you couldn't do that many in one day. Oh? But ten swings a second would do the trick. Rokuro... Even still, I know it would take more than a hundred thousand swings to be a match for Shigure. Not with one sword or with two. And you keep doing it, despite knowing it's pointless? That seems a little odd. I'm trying to defeat an undefeatable adversary. The whole damned idea is daft, as you put it. All I can do is recognize the fact and give it my best shot. Well, that's one way of looking at it. If only I could figure out how to stay up all night and still feel rested. Now there's a challenge I can't beat. You need to go to bed. A lack of sleep will get you killed faster than a lack of practice. <laughs> You're right. I'll do that. Is this just a room? Yeah, it is. crazy how they still don't think, like, we're just a traveling group of demons, and they're like, hey, have you seen this demon? Nobody knows what they look like. They probably dress all bizarre and everything like that. Damn, a triple loss. Well, so much for that. It wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was, but... Then again, normal mode, it's the first one. They probably made it easy for me. As a result. I wonder how the hell am I gonna get back over to that frozen city? Cause like here, to do this I have to go here, but we can't go there. There's Port Candix, which is not it. There's Renid, then there's your Salt. So this is probably going to take me a while. So, your Salt, away! Oh shit.
So yeah, velvet is ripe as shit, boys. The Abbey is supposed to exist to bring peace and order to the world. Everything the Abbey does, everything Lord Melchior and Shepherd Artorius do, it ought to be rooted in that mission. And yet, something just doesn't feel right here. That's a flag, Jazz. Hooray! So let's wow, kill it. What's it taste like? You'd eat that poor thing? Savage. You want to talk, demon. It was one of my mother's specialties. All right, enough of the chit chat. Magilu, what's this grimoire friend of yours like? Because you know everybody else here is fucking teenagers. Since we got her name, we could start by asking around. Exactly. Now you're talking. <laughs> What's up, kiddo? Maggie Lou, you're a grown woman yourself. So why is it you have trouble clearly expressing your real feelings? Good question. Put simply, a long time. Mine broke. Look out! Chickaboo! Bye bye! Your feelings broke? Come on. Let's question the townsfolk. Damn, she walked kind of fast.
is this? Oh, this is just a person to talk to. I thought he had something useful for me. He did not. Whoa, what's this? Oh, like a ladder hidden, hidden off somewhere. Hmm, what a way to stumble upon uh, upon this area, right? No, 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 no! I missed it. Oh, opportunity lost. This is just a boat, but we got side quests over there. But I'm gonna visit here first. Oh, the only thing I got left so far is the overzealous spider, and that's in a you have a Volong, little Vogue ruins, yeah, perhaps. And I get 2100 bucks from it. So, how do you like our island? It's nice and laid back, right? It's quite a bit different from Logos. This place was even more relaxed before the opening. But recently, a lot of our young folk have gone starry eyed about the city and left us in the lurch. It's still better than it was when the demons first started showing up. We have the Abbey to thank for. Hooray! That. And because people are traveling more now, the need for ships has skyrocketed. Our lumber industry is booming. In other words, when the money started flowing, people let it go to their heads? That and those exorcists and soldiers from the bigger cities, they really seemed sophisticated. People from the other islands wear different clothes and have things we don't, you know? Getting worked up and worked over by what's trendy. Is that foolishness not the very definition of youth? If this keeps up, our island's traditions will fade away. That's what worries me. I understand how you feel, but you have to give young people the freedom to be themselves. I have always cared about the young people. So what's up here? Another level? Well, hello there. Oh, a chest. Silky paper. This gives them attack. I'll hold on to that because this this reduces his attack, but even then, Lafi said 2.0 here is not much of an attacker anyway or especially when it comes to physical attack I'm thinking this this may be better for him overall just because like Luffy said 2.0 is not gonna go around punching people in the face right at least I don't think so so we will just put that item on him and we'll upgrade it later However, in the meantime, this place is kind of nice, but there was a side quest over here. Look at them. I'm glad I put the shades on for this because this shit is bright. It's become common practice to use South Gang lumber for shipbuilding. Mating trees only grow in South Gam. Their wood is light, tough, and doesn't rot. Perfect for shipbuilding. You know your stuff. Long ago, before people knew how to build seafaring vessels, Mid Gam and South Gam were separate countries. Then our ancestors fashioned rafts out of Nate logs. Floated all the way to Mid Gam. Mid Gam craftsmen were amazed to see a humble raft cross the open sea. Return with our ancestors here to South Gam. He had used the Mating logs to build a large, sturdy ship. 
commerce took off between Midgan and Southgan. The age of exploration began. The excitement of a new age had everyone floating on air. But within mere decades, Midgan declared war on Southgan. Ironically enough, it was ships made from trees from their islands that enemies used to invade them. The fighting continued for a long time, but in the end, Midgan emerged the victor. The islands were occupied. As hard as things were, our ancestors still liked to joke about it. They'd say, age of exploration, more like age of exploitation. <laughs> when things were that bad, they could still joke about it? South Ganders have always been a cheerful bunch. We tend to look for the silver lining in every cloud. It may not seem like it these days, but South Gan used to be a place where the laughter would never cease. Some people even used to call it Shenanigan. Shenanigan? <laughs> this must have been a really hey, place. You don't need that, do you? Of course not. Of course it's a life bottle. That thing I don't use. Uh, I would rather, let me not say that. I like the thing that I haven't had to use yet. Oh, it's another cat thing. I wonder, I wonder if I was thinking about doing, you know, I was thinking about doing like an intro for like my streams and stuff like that, especially if I was going to be streaming on Restream, right? Like do the intro like that. I don't know. What, another one? Oh, my 
another one. But it's not too late for you yet. You must confess your sins and repent. Yeah, I hear you, but I really can't think of anything. Have you ever wielded violence? No. All I wield are my swords. Well, have you hurt anybody with your swords? Yeah, but I haven't been able to land a killing blow yet. I still got a long way to go. But the next time, I'll kill him. No, 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 no. <laughs> They are just, they have just been fucking with this man. I wish they would have got the whole cast. What's up here? Oh, can't go in there. So I'm gonna go into your backyard. Steal your shit. Alright, he didn't have nothing anyway. There we go. Now we're making progress. I cannot go around. The one on the right is hot. Alright, moving on. <laughs> oh shit. The final preparations are complete. Once you've assumed your new post, everyone will act on your command. Thank you, sister. But to be honest, I worry that these shoes I'm filling might just be a bit too big for me. You need not worry. You possess a special strength and quality that others nice eating ass. Shepherd Artorius has high hopes for your deployment to Polynesia. That our new victim. Also, if you must drink the water, remember to boil. Sister. <laughs> I know, I know. I worry too much. But I just can't help myself. So there's a demon in Haria. Sounds like he's a pretty feisty one, too. If so, it may prove useful. Still, what magical timing for Oscar to show up here at the very same hour we do. <sighs> I understand your suspicion of me, but have you any proof? None, it's true. But as an exorcist, you're certainly sympathetic to the Abbey's cause. And soon you may wish we were sympathetic. Eleanor hasn't been snitching on us. I'm sure of it. And how would you know? Are you watching her even when she's taking a bath? 
<laughs> Why would she? No, I don't. I, I always stay outside when she's taking a bath. And then isn't it possible she's communicating with the Abbey in secret while you're not there? I mean, why would she say that out loud? You pledged to obey me until the day you die, correct? Yes, that I did. Remember, when you two trade blows, only the Abbey wins. One less demon, and one less traitor for them to worry about. While we're standing around here arguing, that demon could be attacking Grimoire! Let's find some more people to question around town. <sighs> yeah, man, you almost died. So what's it really like? Huh? The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Do you share, like... Thoughts and feelings? Um, sort of. When I'm dwelling inside Giggity. Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, alright? I know. You're a boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bianca. No, it's a bad idea. It'll have to be Nagiru. And I saw. Phew! What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes. But it's not like I'm sleeping by her side. Not with that attitude. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside Giggity. her. Does she ever get out of bed at night? Not in my experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. When she's around you guys, she always looks so stirred. But when she's sleeping, her expression is softer, you could say. She lets her hair down too. And I think it's kind of prettier that way. Hmm. So that's what he likes. Well, keep an eye on her. But But? Watch out for the older girls. Huh? <laughs> Alright. Teresa and Oscar sure seem close. I've known them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them quarrel, not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable too. He did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like he was in charge. After a while, he'd be right there trailing along behind me. <laughs> like a little puppy dog. Puppies are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. Is he adorable too? <laughs> I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. But Chibere seemed like he was having fun. Sometimes you just don't make sense. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> no brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. Huh? That's a bit extreme. But actually, when I'm talking with Floppy Set, sometimes I think this is what having a brother must feel like. I could be Eleanor's brother. Don't take any of this nonsense. <laughs> She's like, no, you're mine. Marking are just tools to exorcists. She can never think of you as her brother. Oh, yeah. Oh, wrong. I've changed how I view Moloch, you know. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all tuck. <laughs> She's all tuck. This game has a little bit of everything. 
story development, character development. This game is the full package. All right, so what's going on back here? Two, oh, an elderly couple. Okay. The people of Southgate originally worshipped Arthur, the Empyrean of Water. The lives of the people of the Southern Isles are inherently tied to the sea, whether it was gratitude for a good catch or an appeal for protection. Everyone offers their prayers to Arthur. But the Abbey worships an omen. Still keep their faith? Most of the people obey the will of the Abbey. But one small village deep in Southgate is a special case. The village is called Hagia. And even now they keep their faith in Anuj. They even quarrel with the Abbey. I'm grateful that they fight off the demons. I really am. But do they have to dictate which gods we worship to? They think they do. It's their truth. Then again, they can't control what's in your heart, can they? All right, now I need to get to that bottom level. However, I'm close. We're there. How the heck? Okay. What does it mean to become an adult? <laughs> the eternal question of youth. Have you ever heard of the ceremony of adulthood? It's a yearly tradition on this island. If I remember right, it's totally wild. Everyone throws bananas and oranges at each other. Traditionally, yes, but things have changed over the years. Bananas and oranges are a thing of the past. People are always reaching for bigger and better things, right? In this case, it's watermelons. Whole watermelons. You're throwing watermelons? That's gotta hurt. Trust me, I know. But watermelons are the least of our worries. Recently, people have started flinging coconuts. Coconuts? Those things are as hard as rocks! Trust me. time expedition perfect wins all right now hey this doll it looks like the end zoo ah a keen eye you have young man that is a doll of the empyrean amino To the fucking territory. This shit jazz. Wait, that sounds like and that low energy goddess you saw. The doll you've got here looks like her. Yeah, more or less. Ha! Fortune smiles upon thee, weary adventurers. That listless goddess is none other than Grim. Grimoire isn't human? When did I ever say she was? So, shopkeep, where'd you see her? I think it was down by McClear Beach. Watching the tide come in? That's her, all right. Quickly, 
to the beach. Why didn't you mention Grimoire's a Moloch before now? You can't be too careful with that information. Spies, spies, listening everywhere. <laughs> it's a mini game. At Nacril Beach, baby. Kids playing in the water. They're not even playing in the water. They're just standing there. Kids not having merry time entertainment. Eight out of ten. Do not recommend. Damn, they had a hate boner for me. Did you see that? Let me just get out of that. Do I have a dangerous encounter on my hands? Yes. Hold the fuck on. I'm trying to do side shit. Yeah, bit uh
No! He said is asking all the wrong questions. I want to advance the story. So I can't kill you all right now. Oh shit, there's an EX monster here. Hold up. Damn it, it's gonna catch me. Weak to Earth, and I have eyes in Elder. A dragon? No, just a big lizard demon. Is he friends with Gaia?
like how we knocked it out of its enraged state just like that. Almost at a point, it's just like, oh shit, does it even matter? Oh shit. I'm actually gonna cut, I'm gonna cut the stream soon. It's gonna be a short night. <laughs> uh, my apologies. It appears we've wasted our time. A walk on the beach is never wasted, but some. Well, how did you learn to read the ancient tongue? Are there books for studying it or something? My, my. Are you actually thinking of learning it on your own? child I'll give you that. Not to mention you want to be helpful to Velvet, don't you kid? Yeah. My tuition isn't cheap, you know. You will teach me? No, I won't. But I admire your dedication enough to read it for you. Now where's this book? Here it is, ma'am. You needn't be so formal. Oh, uh, y yes. <laughs>
think this is the same voice actor, actress as Velvet. The language of ancient Avarost. <laughs> Had to be the hard one, of course. A lot of wear and tear, too. This'll take some time. We're in a hurry. That may well be. This isn't the place for study. Let's move to someplace more comfortable. <laughs> oh, you think a figurine of mine wouldn't sell? You've got this whole Gobbler OB thing going on. A figurine needs to be you, like me. Then how about I turn you into a product? Really? Oh, yes. I'll have you stuffed and mounted. But since it'd be a unique piece, I'd have to price it a bit higher. Uh, yeah, Jess. It would be hard for anyone to worship an Empyrean like me, right? That's true. <clears throat> oh, uh, I mean, it just seems like you're the type who can see through anything, so perhaps an Empyrean seems less intimidating from a certain point of view. You're saying I'm scarier than an Empyrean? Not scarier, exactly. Just more of a savvy sort of woman. That's not a bad thing. But it won't get you out of the doghouse. The expedition has come back. Take a look at this. This recipe looks real tasty. Scout. Aria, isn't that the village with that demon that Oscar and Teresa were talking about? I think it might be. We should remain on our guard. Hopefully this was the monster. Because I want to go around here and I want to kill this thing. This isn't on the list. Why are you running away from me? Don't you run from me. I don't think we have a chance. I think How much does Streamlabs cost? It is absolutely free, Jazz. No money whatsoever, my friend. That cup, the the alerts, the little donation goal that I got at the top there, that Twitch bot thing that I have in the corner, all free. Excuse me while I go die. Wait a minute, hi. Harpy go lucky. It's level 35. What level are we? There's art. There's nothing. The only thing that you really gotta pay for is like maybe bots and stuff like that. But even then, I'm thinking about trying to create my own bot again. Instead of just like giving up at the first bit of difficulty.
nice phantom if you ever get around to it yet. It seems like this thing is completely immune to martial arts, but the game doesn't tell us that. And look at that, all those zeros. No, 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 you get off a Laffy set, you rat bastard. It seems like I can only... Hit this bitch! It seems like I can only use hidden art. I think. You'll get more than a release day for geese. I think so too, because right now Tekken is in a really bad place. Despite like, like let me pause, let me pause the game and take my glasses off, so you know I mean fucking business, right? I mean I'm kidding about the whole serious thing, but no, Tekken is in Tekken is in a really bad place. <laughs> Tekken's in a really bad place right now, be just because of all of the issues that are going on with it. It's just it just seems like we didn't get we didn't get a full game and then even with the things that we got it feels like it feels like half-assed you know like the online's horrible for for consoles and PCs it seems like it seems like all the legacy characters that we've been wanting you know the people who've been making Tekken Tekken since Tekken was Tekken right it's like it's like we have we're missing two characters that were in Tekken 1 that are not that you know that were in Tekken 1 that are not in Tekken 7 but instead we have a bunch of new characters personally I got it's like people are like yeah but we got fucking Katarina but we dealt with Bob for all these years you know what I mean I'm happy with the characters we got it's just that you know it's just there's just certain characters people feel as though should have been in the game from the jump as opposed to like making new characters. I am dying. laughing right oh I'm dying oh shit this bird must be a Pokemon legendary I don't know about all that I will tell you what it will be dead in a second yo what's with me not getting experience on hard mode on above or above perseveres Glacier Thank you, guys. Thank you, my friend. What's in this deep, scary cave? Oh, a chest. With a panacea. Ah, oh, I should have used that. I totally did not use that. Apparently, I can't go back to my original city. What level is everyone? I just beat... I just beat a monster that was... Let me get Velvet back up front. Right. I'm 
I just beat a character. I beat an EX monster that was like five levels ahead of me. But no XP, no gold, no nothing. What was the point of that fight? When I go to a city, right? I go to the city and there's a particular vendor that I need to talk to that will give me a reward, which is like not enough gold. I do question the point of it all. But it's like, it's like, I wanted to do it for the experience. And I'm not getting experience for these EX monsters, but I get, but what they give me is like a little glaciite item that, uh, that gives me benefits, you know? But, like, but no expel shit. Just slap that X, that slap that shit on her. Just boom. Yeah, there we go. Chunky potato salad. All damage taken reduced by twenty. I'm gonna save that. I'm saving that. Thirty or more hits fills SG completely. Nice. turn auto cooking off though. Watch me regret that later. Hello person. This seems like the perfect item for Lafayette 2.0. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This seems like overall a good item for anybody. A jet black waistcoat increases defense.
seems like that particular vendor that I was talking about earlier jazz isn't here to which I say oh well let me go back behind this house oh cause he's not here he's underneath there come on kid just wanna talk this isn't it there you, there you go Kid is freaking weird. But I'm gonna call it here. I know it was a short I know it was a short night, but I was already I was already worn out by the time I was starting streaming anyway. But so long and farewell everyone. I will see you guys tomorrow night.